Okay, on a previous video, I showed you how to bend chain link bent top rail and turn it into, you know, three pieces, uh, turn it into a 22 foot, 20, yeah, about 22 foot wide greenhouse. That's what this is. Um, I put it up to where I kind of arched these end pieces here down um, it's kind of a temporary thing technically because uh, at the end of the day when I've you know had it up here since oh gosh it was uh, February I started putting this thing up and I didn't really even I didn't even plant until like the first of May right around the first of May which is just about a month ago and things took off you cannot believe um, how quickly the seeds will propagate and pop up when you have black plastic. I use this black plastic to kill the lawn. Um, so I, I, I killed the lawn with the black plastic and, and pretty much I didn't leave it on through the whole last summer. And then I uh, took the black, it's six mil black plastic. It's just construction grade. And so it will deteriorate, but I decided I'd leave it down here uh, to as a weed barrier. Um, that's how I'm controlling the weeds this year. It's done phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Now what I did do is I tilled in the ground. After tilling in the ground, I um, did the first hill, and then I put about 50 pounds of feed salt, Redmond feed salt, um, onto the uh, ground just spread it out. If I, if I remember right, it was technically what I did is I figured it 300 pounds an acre, which would have been about uh, roughly 200 foot by 200 foot, 300 pounds, and then calculated, divided it up to the area that I was going to be gardening. Because I know I've used the 300 pounds of this mineral salt. It has 80 to 90 percent mineral in it. Um, and I put it into the ground, that's the minerals. I also put magnesium in the ground, which is Epsom salt. Um, and it gives you kind of some guidelines in the Epsom salt, how much to put into the ground. I did it in the fall, and then I put about uh, a 50 to one ratio of uh, borax, which is boron, and it's a natural salt that the plants need to stabilize the calcification uh, from uh, the hard water that we have. Um, and it is good for the plants as well. And all of those are extremely important and needed in our own bodies. Um, and the same with the plants and the trees. And these are minerals. And um, I haven't put any compost in here, which, you know, I think I'm going to probably put uh, manure, some horse or, or cow manure um, on it this coming up year, because that's a good thing too. But I, I didn't do that. Anyway, this is where we're at. Um, they, it's done phenomenal. Um, r roughly, I put wiggle wire and channeling in here so that I could peel this off. Um, right in here, this is the wiggle wire. And it's really easy. And it's got a channel. And it, and it just pops off like that. And then you can just pretty much peel all that back off. Um, which is what I'm going to do. We freeze here until about the 20th of June is about what we've experienced where we're at. Um, we're just outside of town. In town, you're talking about 10 degrees warmer um, at night. I'm just popping this wiggle wire back in. Um, so, let's see. I put... T posts. I pounded in a T post on the angle that it was at, and then just wire tied this with a strong wire into that post, and then I bolted through each of the two by fours into here, like this. So I put a a bolt through that, and so that two by four is bolted to that. And then I screwed the wiggle wire channel right along this thing. And that's how, how I've uh, 
kind of slap this one together. Certainly not the overkill of my video of the other greenhouse. This is a simpler one. I still think I'm going to wind up because of the way that I arched it. The wind hit. The wind was just really bad this spring and it beat the plastic up pretty good and I want this plastic to be able to be peeled off in the summer and then I put a shade cloth on it and so uh, if I would have put you can see on the fence I put a on the end you can see this uh, it's a privacy uh, windshield fabric that's six foot runs in six foot by 50 foot pieces and it literally blocks the wind amazingly right here. So, if I take a look at this, this is a critical. As soon as I pull the plastic off of all of this wonderful, uh, uh, the greenhouse, the wind could easily, if it picks up and you get a day or two of a storm rolling in, and we're on the flats here. And I don't, wherever you guys are, you know, if you're building a greenhouse, your situation, everybody's different, but where I'm at, it, it, storms blow in and you get some dang good winds. This absolutely does phenomenal. And it's uh, it's uh, somewhat of a privacy. I mean, you can't really see through it. You kind of see a little bit through it, but this is the route that I took with it. Perfect? No, but it's, it's a solution for me. Um, it's a fence. Um, it's typically done on a chain link fence, the shade cloth, uh, uh, wind block, and a chain link fence that's uh, concreted in. And this one, it'll bend over my T-post. So I'm gonna just throw one of these babies in every so often, but you'd be amazed at how much wind it blocks, and that's what you want. Okay, so when I pull this plastic off, I'm going to then be uh, uh, putting a shade cloth over most of this and I'll, I'll have another follow-up video of this but we're putting corn down over here and then we've got all of that different really cool squashes right in here many a number of different varieties that we're uh, experimenting with and then I've got uh, cucumbers right after that um, I don't know if I want to walk across that let me come back around and show you this so this will get peeled off this plastic and oh, probably in the next week I'll look at the weather and if it's not going to drop down below 80 before the 20th um, I'm gonna that's kind of a, a way to tell because tonight it was in the 70s and more than likely we'll get a frost tonight but just this uh, coverage like this it'll keep the frost from biting into these plants um, but it's doing phenomenal in here. And, and this black plastic's wonderful for weeding. Um, these are just different varieties of, of watermelons and really cool squashes, uh, beans, a number of really cool varieties of beans in here that we're uh, testing out. And they're just pretty. Beans are just beautiful anyway, um, the way they vine than your cucumbers and they're just going crazy in here absolutely going crazy especially when i opened up this other side over here and let it it was too hot in here um, but i didn't want to it was getting some hard frost and the wind i didn't want it beat and so i opened that end up and that what it does is it climatizes these plants so they've been getting a little bit of wind hitting them and they're they're getting climatized so when i peel this off in a week it won't hit them and stunt them especially when I put the shade cloth on it and create kind of like a uh, cloudy condition for them plants just go crazy when it's cloudy and they don't like direct a little bit of uh, cloud coverage they just tend to go crazy so the greenhouse people they found that uh, running a shade cloth over it improves the uh, productivity and I found that as well um, anyway that's uh, pretty much in a nutshell I didn't get into the details as to how I built this, um, but I am going to be putting end walls in, in this greenhouse. Uh, I think that's going to be a better option for me. I really like the double-sided plastic with air uh, between the two because then it, it keeps the wind from whipping the plastic, and the plastic will last a lot longer. But I do plan on keeping this as a type of a greenhouse where I peel the... Uh, 
where I peel the plastic off of it for the summertime. But we're just loving it, and I hope that information is good for you guys. Uh, good luck and God bless. And I will update after I get the shade cloth in as we go along and put the trellises in and give you a kind of a, a feel for what you can do to, to start things a couple of months early. All right, and have it last longer. If I throw this on in the fall, it'll, and then kind of make it last longer. All right, good luck. God bless.